Hi, my name is Frank Valentik, Director and Buyer's Advocate at Advantage Property Consulting. Today I'm going to talk about the coronavirus and the possible impact it may have on the Melbourne property market. Now, the last couple of days I've been on the phone to reporters talking about this particular issue that uh, is coming up where there's uh, some talk that the coronavirus might impact the property market just as it has smashed the share market. Now, firstly, the different markets uh, work in different ways and usually when the share market is crashing or performing badly, the property market is doing the opposite. So they operate in different cycles. We saw that with the GFC in 2008 when the worldwide economy uh, was basically um, crashing and also the Melbourne property market stayed very, very solid for a while. And then we actually saw it booming from January 2008, the start of the GFC, for another two and a half years almost till April 2010 when we had that correction. So if uh, history repeats itself, uh, that could well happen again with the Melbourne property market rather than uh, it following the share market trends of falling and dropping in value. Uh, we saw massive increases, uh, some properties going up 30 to 40% in that period of time. What other impacts could it have? Well, there could be the impact that uh, agents won't run open for inspections anymore because of the possible uh, you know, contagious element of, of the crowds there. Uh, so agents might need to get buyers through private appointments. Um, what about the thought that buyers might have to try and buy properties without actually seeing them? being able to inspect the properties. So, you know, some of those things might come up. Um, we might see auctions, uh, you know, being replaced more by expression of interest campaigns uh, to avoid, again, that sort of crowd factor. There'll still be opportunities to buy properties. There'll still be opportunities to negotiate and bid or put in offers, but it might just be done a little bit differently in the future. So what I always say to clients is really, it's all about your long-term game plan and the coronavirus might have some small impact on certain parts of the market. Um, I think owner occupiers will keep buying and selling in the current market because they've got a need to either upsize or downsize uh, or first home buyers are buying to get into the market for the first time and get out of the rental rat race. So I think the owner occupiers market will be very strong. I think investors, if anything, could uh, sit on the fence, which they did for a while during the GFC before they then jumped on. Um, and took advantage of some opportunities because if they're not putting money in the share market and they're not putting it in cash, uh, they're wanting to put it somewhere and, and the property market is as generally safe as bricks and mortar, doubling every seven to 10 years. Importantly, focus on your long-term goals. Property is a long-term game. It's not a short-term speculating game. So really it shouldn't be a major, major uh, part of any decision making uh, because it's all about time in the market, not timing the market. Um, and there could be some good opportunities as Warren Buffett said, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy and, and take advantage of maybe some of these opportunities uh, coming up uh, with the new market that we may enter into. My name is Frank Valentik from Advantage Property Consulting. Please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management, our group block purchases, as well as subscribe to our free monthly and weekly market updates. We'll see you next time.